Hey folks, that's for diaper number one here. I uh, got a Real King 19 tractor. It's been giving me all kinds of problems. Um, got the seat assembly off so I can kind of show you a little better what I'm talking about. Uh, basically, my midpoint and rear, this rock lever here, will not move at all. It's just stuck. Also, it's stuck in four wheel drive won't go into two-wheel drive so uh, there's nothing to grease or anything like that right here is where the shift lever for the midpoint to uh, raise the rear PTO up or down comes in to the valve body I suppose uh, the only issue I can figure right now is right here in the front some kind of solenoid or valve. Um, the wires are pinched underneath the frame there and then kind of pinched from the factory where they tighten them down with a uh, tie strap. So we're gonna start taking other thing, things apart here and see if we can get any movement out of this rock lever. This lever right here, so again, there's really nothing to grease, but when I pull the lever, I mean, nothing happens at all. Alright, so I took off this bracket that uh, kind of wedges into the rock lever arm there, where it goes into the valve body, and it is pretty rusted, so I'm uh, soaking it. And hopefully it'll take care of our problem. I doubt it, but it would be nice. Alright, the next morning I let that soak overnight and uh, still no movement. So I, going by the schematics here, the parts schematics, I have a O-ring right in there. So I'm not going to be hitting this with heat. Um, and the shaft is so stiff, I mean, it's just not moving at all. Again, I'm having a problem with my four-wheel drive, not going into two-wheel. But that's something internal or something else because I can hear clicking and there is a little bit of movement there. So uh, before I go ahead and tear this valve body apart, um, I'm going to go ahead and try putting this plate back on loosely. And because I honestly don't remember if the uh, if the selector moves with the tractor running or not, so maybe I'm going to run the tractor, uh, let it warm up for 20 minutes or so, and, and see if it moves. Uh, I hate to lose my air conditioning in the garage, but I'm going to try that before I go ahead and go for the big teardown. All right, so I ran it about 20 minutes. About a half hour and then really kind of pushed on the lever and uh, it moved a little bit pushed the other way it moved a little bit really tough so I brought it back in and clipped some uh, vice grips on it and then uh, I just moved the lever and the vice grips and I'm getting it to move so basically a combination of the lever and the vice grips we can get her to move without too much force. If I didn't want to push on this rod any harder, I would bend it. Um, so I'm just going to keep hitting it with penetrating oil, and hopefully it'll get looser and looser.